How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. And we're done. How is it going boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Uh, if this is your first time watching, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. I know it's annoying, uh, but I have to say it, it helps a ton. And even if it's not your first time watching, be sure to hit the like button. Um, if you've been following me for the last couple weeks, I've been kind of out and about on, uh, around Florida, visiting some family, did some diving up on the mainland. Uh, back in Key West, me and Madeline got back and uh, realized that we have absolutely no fish in the fridge. So got the boat back in the water, had some stuff done to it, but I am, um, doing some Key West grocery shopping. I'm just literally coming out here to try and get some fish for the freezer for the week. Um, I'm gonna try and be a little more educational. I know you guys love learning, I love learning. I think that's why we get along so well. I'm gonna talk about what rods and reels I'm fishing, the rigs, leaders, all that good stuff. Try to be a little more comprehensive with it. But quite honestly, I have yellow jack on the brain. I'm not sure why, that's not a fish I've covered rod and reel before. Um, I can't remember, we may have caught some, but uh, that's what that's my target today. I'm sure we'll catch some other stuff. You can't always catch exactly what you're going for But I uh, pulled up on the first spot First thing I did I don't know if the camera caught it, but something just exploded on the surface when I first pull up to a spot um, I'm live baiting today. I've got pilchards greenbacks white bait, whatever you want to call them uh, First thing I do when I pull up to a spot is make it rain. I throw a bunch of bait out try and get these fish fired up um, I'm in 13 feet of water just a rock pile right here, kind of around the boat and sand. So threw a bunch of bait out, trying to get these fish revved up. Um, we'll put some lines in and see what we can catch. Let's rock and roll. So I'm fishing live bait today. Um, there's no chum involved, just kind of live bait chumming. I'm throwing these baits out and just kind of get these fish fired up. Uh, the setup I'm fishing is a Saragossa 6000 um, with a Shimano Travala. Uh, this one's a seven foot medium light. Love these for inshore lot of action they can handle a big fish if you get one but they are just a lot of fun for these smaller fish um, I've got about 12 feet of uh, 15 pound fluorocarbon real light action it makes it a little more fun a little more sporty but that is the setup I'm fishing today I brought two of them I am fishing pretty much a yellowtail jig oh and I got this wrapped up yellowtail jig essentially it's just a hook with a little bit of lead on it if you can see that uh, and I've got a little bit bit I'm a wreck here. A little bit bigger size there. That one has a little more lead. Uh, the reason I do this with live bait is it makes that bait struggle just a little bit. Kind of pulls it down. The uh, the fish can sense when that that bait's struggling, in my opinion. So um, you could probably could probably get away with a uh, just a bear hook, but that's what we're doing. Let's give it a shot. just free lining it at first like I said I'd like to get into some yellow jacks they are a lot of fun on these light action rods especially on live bait if you can get them fired up they hang around these rock piles from time to time got stuff popping off behind us hopefully there's some yellow jacks around just kind of free lining it kind of whoop. They're hungry. Yeah, baby. What do we got? A little snapper. I'll take that all day. Where I am located, mangroves are only 10. And I'm looking for groceries. So I said there are only 10 here. That's true, I never keep a 10-inch snapper. I don't keep them under 12. Um, there's not much on a 10-inch snapper in my opinion. If I'm starving, it's a different story, but I'm not starving. Uh, so just give you a point of reference, that sna first snapper was 13 and a half, almost 14 inches. Good start. Feels like a little guy. 
So they're so fired up here, pretty much just put it in the water just for a second. And they're pretty much on it. There's a lot of small mangroves down there. This guy's close. Like I said, I, I typically never keep a mangrove under 12 inches. Uh-oh, did you swallow it? Uh-oh, let me measure him before. Before I go surgery status. Yeah, he's 13. You're coming home, buddy, sorry. Make a little salt water brine. I like to salt brine everything if I have time and can, or the room for it. These smaller fish are a lot easier to do. It's almost acting like a jack or a bigger snapper. Big head digs. Might just be a bigger snapper. Ah, this snapper. Just a nice one. Ooh, baby. Come to me. Yeah. Again, I'm looking for yellow jacks, but I will take mangroves. All day. That's a, I think that's the biggest one so far. It's 15, 16 inches. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think that's enough here. We're gonna go to the next. I only saw one jack. I couldn't get him to eat. He kept following everything up. But I've got plenty of spots. Let's move to the next one. Big Lane showed up. Hit him with the acted like I was leaving trick. Started the motors. Got three big lanes in a row. We've got enough from this spot. I'm gonna move along and I'm failing miserably at fulfilling my yellow jack craving. So on to the next. First thing we do at a new spot. Get them fired up. See if anybody's home. Well, that was anticlimactic. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He ate it and ran. Oh, he's back on. Back on. I hate doing that, but the camera's got to be on or it didn't happen, right? I don't know what this is. Maybe a mackerel or a... Oh, it's a bar jack. So I'm in the right family. Hopefully my head cam's on. Ah, I get his head out of the water. There we go. And he swallowed it. So this looks like a yellow jack, but it actually is not. Little different shape. Just barely little different shape. And that blue stripe is really defined. This is actually called a bar jack. A little more narrow on the face, not as much yellow. Same family. I've heard of people eating them. I haven't. Um, and I'm not gonna today. The search continues. Had to move the camera over stuff. Starting to get fired up on this side of the boat. Whoa! Oh, that's my yellow jack. 
see him. I can see him. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Top water, baby. I love it. That was cool. That's what I was talking about. Sometimes you get schools of 20 or 30 of these things top water just crashing. I think there was only a couple there, but. There he is. I think that's my yellow jack. Woo! Real light, I've only got 15 pound fluoro on here. Oh, there's a school of them. Here we go, baby. Woo, he's running. Got some Hollywood drag going on, but like I said, real light leader on these, fishing the top water. They get real smart, especially when the, the water's kind of clear today. Oh, there he is. Ah. Yeah, baby. Yes. That is a yellow jack. So you're probably looking at me going, that looks like a bar jack that you just that I just showed you, but the blue here is really big. That bar jack has a uh, the blue stripe is really defined. That one's real kind of loose, I'll say. It goes all the way down. That is my yellow jack. Mission accomplished. Oh, he swallowed it. Swallowed it. This is that top water I was talking about. This is so cool when these fish do this. Ooh, this one feels a little bigger. Going to the other side. This one may have a little more size on him. Not what I wanted him to do is run towards that crab trap. Again, I'm fishing 15 pound fluoro, so I've got to be really light on these fish. Yellow jacks get up to 20 pounds, but even the small ones are really strong. Yep, it's the right one. probably get away with 20 beef it up and horse this thing in but where's the fun in that oh I'm losing you beautiful 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 yellow jack oh this one is all lit up let me show you before I lose him that's why they call it a yellow jack. Look at the colors on that one. They can change their colors. Beautiful fish. Yeah, baby, mission accomplished. So these yellow jacks are almost, they're almost like pelagics of the, the reef. <clears throat> they like structure. You can kind of randomly see anywhere like, this spot in particular, just some scattered little rocks, hard bottom. Um, oh, they are fired up. Oh, he ate it right on the drop. <laughs> right on the drop. They were going crazy right here. Oh my God. Nice one. Look at them. Beautiful. Perfect hook set. 
Looks like more and more are just showing up of these things. Getting a little bigger. That's a beautiful one right there. That's why they call it a yellow jack. Look at those colors. He was going back anyways. I've got enough. I've got three of them. I may um, need to do a tally of how much fish I have. I may be good. I might hit one more snapper spot, but I think I'm going to catch a couple more of these yellow jacks. Oh, the second it hit the water. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was cool. Ooh, this one's got a little more size on it, maybe. Wow, that was cool. That, what a strike. How fun. Who knew life could be so grand? Another nice yellow. Just keep coming. No, no, no. Get that hook out of your mouth, buddy. I deserve that. Right in the face. Look at it. So much fun. After looking, I've got I've got enough fish for the week. I'm gonna let him go. We are done here. And I can't remember if I said it. Whew. Rightfully so. I can't remember if I said it, but if I can afford it and I have enough bait before I leave a spot, I like to just kind of continue to feed them. This, these fish are how I make my living. Um, and meals are hard to come by out here in, in the wild. So feed them for next time. Keep them healthy, keep them growing. <laughs> it's hard to leave. I will see you guys back at the dock. I'm going to sound like a total hippie here, but at the end of the day, if I have enough bait left that's in good health, I drop it back on the flat because we need more bait. They got to make more bait. So my yellow jack... Again, if you've never had it, you gotta try it. Most people hear Jack and think of Jack Ravel, Amber Jack. Do not associate it with those Jacks. It is definitely not those. Pretty straightforward cleaning. I'm not gonna do this whole thing. I'm just show you. I wanna show you what the meat looks like. There's yellow jack, nice and white. I'm gonna take that home and do a little bit of sashimi and show you what it looks like. All right, yellow jack has been cooled and sliced properly. Um, a lot of times I get people that come on the boat and they're like, I wanna eat raw fish and they try to eat it right off the fish. Do not eat it right off the fish. It needs to be cooled properly. If you try to eat a fish sashimi that has not been chilled, it's gonna be really chewy, it's not enjoyable. I've seen people do it with wahoo, tuna, yellow jack, pretty much everything you eat raw. I do not recommend it. But this has been chilled for about six hours. Um, and a trick is if you do not have a good knife, throw it in the freezer for about five minutes. It firms it up a little. Um, Madeline is gonna be our taste tester. Very straightforward, she's never had yellow jack raw. Uh, I've got a little bit of very teriyaki sriracha some white soy sauce, and then some regular soy sauce. I did not have ponzu. Normally kind of keep this simple, like ponzu, lime, and sriracha, but um, 
using what I have here. So Madeline's gonna be our taste tester. She's never had yellow jack raw. Never had fish ever. Yeah, right. <laughs> so eat a couple pieces. Before we go, before we close this out, um, I've got some exciting stuff coming up. I have a whole week off next week. Weather looks great. So send me guys some ideas of what you wanna see. Uh, barrel fish bite has been good. Not something I don't think anyone has ever done or you guys have probably not heard of. Um, always down to do some diving, maybe some cobia, grouper, wahoo should be showing up soon. So send me I some ideas of what you wanna see next. Um, Alan's gonna polish this whole thing off. What do you think? <laughs> it's is good. It good. It's um, yeah. It's so texture-wise, what is it? It's is very, it very firm. Um, very firm. Not very. Sorry, medium firm. <laughs> medium firmness. Um, it's similar to wahoo, but definitely more firm. Um, but any fishiness? Mm -mm, no. No fishiness. It's good. I mean, you can look at it. I got to thinking about it, and I would kind of consider it if you've ever had a. You go get sushi and you, they call it um, yellowtail. Mm. It's the Pacific version of yellowtail. It's yeah. our, our, the Atlantic version of what they call yellowtail on sushi. So give it a try. Um, we're done here. Send me ideas. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate your time. And gals, um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.